looking up the valley to Langtang now. There's a village called Gompa just on the hill there, and Langtang is in the sort of it looks like a, a basin in the valley. Um, and the avalanche came down there, all the way down here, and there was such a, a wind that it just sheared off all these trees here. You can see the trees have just trees on the hillside there have just been chopped over and thrown onto their sides. Just come through. It used to be Langtown Village. It's under snow at the moment, but there are flags not much remains. And as you can see, it's all rock. And uh, there's a few flags remaining. And the glacier, Langtown Glacier, the ice falls just came down there. And as you can see, the one remaining house in that part of the village. One safe location over there. And now this is I think a new village being built here. Is it a safer location? I don't know. But and here a memorial Memorial Manny Wall to those who died in Langtang Village during the earthquake. 175 Nepalese names and some, it looks like about 40, 40 foreign names. And there's prayer wheels here to spin. So we're in the uh, we're in the new Langtang village that's just been built, and just just below there's a dip, and if I look up to the right, you can see the pointed peak is Langtang too, and there's kind of a chute. It's almost like this bit's a funnel, and the glacier came down that funnel onto the and onto the old village. We've just been talking to the tea house owner who said. There was also a frozen lake there. It all came down. It all came down there. So this this is Mundu, the next village up from Langtang. It survived the earthquake, but these are an example of some of the traditional houses that were in Langtang at the time of the earthquake. And you have living quarters up above, and down below are the supplies, there's a room for the supplies, for buyer, for animals, etc. Uh, when the earthquake struck, young people in the village, you had a big avalanche, rock avalanche coming down, the young people ran away, ran outside, ran outdoors. They didn't stand a chance, they were, they were covered. Whereas the older people, they couldn't run outside, they weren't quick enough, so they ran underneath into the byre, into the stables where the supplies were and some of them have survived so actually in Langtang village more more of the older people survived. We are in Langtang here damage after the earthquake. Two years later still. Yeah, before down there too many houses. There too was many all large, but all the mess. It's all None gone. Over there. So here's old Langtang village. On the way up we didn't really see this because it was all buried under snow but that's the memorial we passed, it's desolate, desolate wasteland now.
landslide the, the area is just it's just enormous all of this came down to call this sobering would be to put it mildly, I don't think in my life I've ever seen such a, a scene of utter, total devastation. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. And here, all the trees on this hillside were swept over by the force of the avalanche. And now there are people that are cutting cutting the trees for this wood for, hat, for homes and there's lots of it all over this hillside <laughs> 